Ooh, hello there my fellow miners and crafters, Gatan, so Scar here, and welcome back to the Foolish Worlds of Foolcraft, and we're here in our starter base, where in our last episode we built up some machines here that are smelting down, well not at the moment, but wheat into flour to create bread, which makes our delightful pineapple pizza, and over here we're bringing down the iron because Dang, we've got a lot of iron now built up. Look at this. This is amazing. Also, don't look in this chest. It's it's embarrassing. I, I don't want anybody to see it. <sighs> Famous little Lily the Ender Lily. Still being a failure. Not making anybody proud. Seriously, it's been days. It's been days and this thing still has not grown. I don't get it. I don't get it. I know if I had Endstone, it would grow a little faster is what I've been told. But seriously, seriously, come on, Ender Lily. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, but that is really actually frustrating. But anyway, so in our last episode, we died over 50 times to achieve the greatest pickaxe of all time, the whiskers from Mega Loot. This thing is unbreakable and, of course, is a multi-tool and it's amazing. But I have a problem. I have a big problem. Why do I always have mining fatigue? As you guys can see up in the top here, I, I'm constantly plagued by mining fatigue. I've taken off my armor. I've gotten rid of the pickaxe. I've done everything I can. The only thing I can think of is potentially it's a nutrition problem. Maybe I need more dairy in my life. Maybe I need some more vegetables. I don't know. You guys gotta let me know why I'm constantly plagued with mining fatigue. I, I, I have a hunch that it's this, but I don't know. So I need you to tell me in the comments. So also, we built a fabulous mine over here so we can get all the mining wonders that we could ever dream of that's down below there. But in today's episode, we're going to work on two things. First thing, we're going to be going to the community area and doing some government tasks. So also, I'd like to look around for a plot, but we need some cash money so that we can do some super awesome things eventually like our pizzeria and of course our porcelain cat pond. But let's touch upon our main base and that's going to be our main focus today because we're going to be building some machines that are capable of producing the blocks that we need for our base. Now, let's talk a little bit about the base, right? The base is going to be a very kind of Victorian, steampunkish, industrial feel. And Iskol was giving me some really great, you know, inspiration and ideas. Um, and one of those things was immersive engineering. Now, immersive engineering is a mod that is just like made for what we're going to be doing here. And within it, there's a lot of blocks that we can use and uh, machines and things along those lines. Now, one of the main blocks that I'd really love to get is this concrete tile block. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a process because we're going to need to create the slag here. So we're going to create some machines and Iskol gave me a whole diagram on how to do this. So we're going to attempt to follow his instructions on this and we're going to need another block. And this one's actually going to be a fluid and it is an oil that can be treated um, to wood to create treated wood. So this stuff is really pretty cool and we're going to try a couple different solutions to make this and find the right one that works. So first option is from immersive engineering and that is the uh, coke oven and another one is the magma crucible. Um, so these are ideas. So this one's from tar. So we got to go to the deserts. So we got to get the, the I think there's a block there. Then we can smelt that down into tar and then from tar we can create this. So those are ways that we can create treated wood. And I think that's going to be one of the main building blocks of the base is those tiles and treated wood. A, s a couple other blocks we may be trying is reinforced stone, I think, and reinforced dirt. Those ones sound really cool, don't they? Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited about that because that's going to open up so many fun new possibilities with builds along with uh, just like something different, right? Because when you do modded, you don't want to do the same old vanilla blocks, right? You want to do modded blocks. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, hello here. What is this? The Big Cheese Grill Grand Opening Discount. Dude, I want a cheese sandwich. Oh, it's a cheese sandwich and it looks delicious. The Big Cheese Voucher. What is this? Counts as 10 bucks. No way. And this counts as five dollars. Oh, that's insane. This has to be. Yes, I knew it. It had to be Red Dog. That's totally Red Dog written all over it. Have you ever craved the scrumptious taste of a crispy, gooey grilled cheese sandwich? Yes, I have. I even dream of it. Well, crave no more, fellow fool. The Big Cheese Grill is now open to Fool City Plot 21 and the grills are fired up. Oh, my. 
Okay, we're gonna have to stop here. Pick yourself up a snack of our signature scrumptious big cheese and get your grain and your dairy nutrition up to max in no time. See, that's the drawback of my pizza shop because this pizza does not affect your nutrition, but it does bring up your nutrition to like max. So that's why I kind of wonder about the nutrition and my mining fatigue. For a limited time, we're also selling crazy cheesy chips. Ooh, gold, gold nuggets for all of your early game needs. Wow, wow, this is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna have to stop by the shop for sure. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan uh, for the base to kind of start with is getting some of these blocks, you know, getting the, what is this, the oil stuff and getting that produced, getting the concrete tiles, getting the slag. So we're going to need a lot of machines. And like I said, big thanks to Iskol for the inspiration on that particular mod. And of course, a diagram on a how to make the slag out of nothing. So that's going to be really fun. I'm going to try to follow his instructions. And we'll see how it goes. So big, big thanks to Iskol. Hashtag Iskol's awesome in the chat. I want to see it. I want to see every single one of you go hashtag Iskol's awesome. All right. Do we have, are we are we all together on that? OK, good. So, yeah, let me get a few more things together. We'll head off to the community area and we'll start working on today's episode. Just about ready to head off to the community area. But I want to show you those two blocks, the reinforced stone and the reinforced dirt. It's my dream come true. Reinforced dirt. That's amazing. Um, look at this. I didn't know the reinforced stone has these um, these chisel designs. That's really cool. I had no idea. I thought it was just this particular one. This actually changes everything. So that's actually a really good thing. But anyway, let's head off to the town hall and away we go. So we've got to see if we can get some money because we have very, very uh, limited resources at the moment. Available jobs, the bank, the news agency, the library, the doctor's office, and the post office. I might do the doctor's office, but in the comments, let me know what job I should do on the right-hand side. Bank, news agency, library, doctor's office, post office. I'm leaning towards doctor's office because I found a bunch of cool things that can heal you in the pack, which could be actually pretty cool. Um, so these ones over here. So there's bridges, there's street lights, uh, meals on wheels, um, be fabulous or dazzling. My oh my. Let's see. Let's start with this one here. Let's see what we got here. Dazzling. Make it a tradition. Savor that feeling of finding your first vein of diamonds by framing the first one you find and display it with pride in your base. The road to riches starts here. Oh my, this sounds pretty cool. Payment 50 bucks. Requirement must be your first diamond obtained. Um, I remember my first diamond obtained. It's in a stack of many other diamonds at the moment. Hmm, but we don't need to tell the government. Uh, deadline once accepted you will have two episodes to finish the job okay perfect if you are interested in accepting this job please uh place this book in your personal post box oh, all right there we go um yeah you know i had that that one diamond that i got in my very first episode from the chance cube yeah you know it's in the box i know which one because it has this extra little shiny um corner mm -hmm. yeah for sure okay uh, let's see what's this one be fabulous Sometimes starting out can be all work and no play. This is true. This is true. Uh, let's see. Protecting yourself is essential to survival. I think, what did I just say? Protecting yourself, Scar. Protecting yourself is essential to survival. Gold is always overlooked. It is true. That's true. With its poor durability, but it's also incredibly fabulous. Deck yourself out from head to toe in gold armor and strut your stuff in front of the town hall. Payment 100 bucks required. Must be wearing a full set of gold armor. Dance in front of the town hall well in F5. Selfie mode. Deadline, once you accept, two days, put in the post box. Bam! Okay, that's perfect. 150 bucks. Can I get any more money? Let's see. Anything else I could do? Ah, let's see what the mule on wheels is. Oh, oh, mm, bridges here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to chuck that one over there. Um, let's see. Mules on wheels. There we go. Uh, let's see. Starting out in the new world can be hard work. Your fellow citizens must be hungry. There's nothing like a warm cooked meal to come home to rest. Roast up some cooked chicken and a few baked potatoes and then deliver them to the other fools. Payment $100 deadline. Once you've accepted, you will have two episodes of finished places in the box. Okay. Um, can I give him pizza? Pizza is so much better, government. Look at this. Look at the pizza. I know I know you're looking at this right now, government high above in your, your ivory tower. But look at this. Come on. This is so much better. All right. So we can give him some potatoes and we can give him the other thing. But we'll also we'll, we'll double up and we'll give him some uh, pizza. I think that would be pretty cool. All right. So let's make this all happen. 
I'm just out there peacefully looking for chicken, and I was gunned down by the skeleton. What in the world? It was actually way harder than I thought to find chickens. I found one chicken so far, and I've been looking for about 20 minutes. This is this is way harder than I thought. This is going to be $100. Well deserved, I'll tell you that. Finally found chicken heaven here, where there is chickens galore. It's KFC's dreams. And uh, yeah, so finally found all the chickens I will ever need. What was that? That was a cool hat. Anyway, also found a chest over here. And that is an inventory pet chest, so that's exciting. Now, I do know that Cloud Pets, I believe, have been completely disabled from the game, so it's not going to be that, but my dream is if it's the Nether Portal one. That one is my favorite, because it is so convenient. All right, here we go. Bam! Squid Pet. You know, Squid Pet's not bad. It's water breathing, underwater vision, swim boost, you know, sink, all those things. Those are actually really good abilities. Not my preferred one, but I'll take it. Ooh, leaves. I'll always take a little leaves in my in my inventory. There we go. Grab that and an emerald nugget for good measure. Nice. Anyway, it looks like we finally got enough chicken. So let's head back, cook this up, and uh, we'll be back to the community area to get ourselves some of our money. Hello, ladies. I've got my gold chest plate hat. Pants and boots, ready to go for a little bit of dancing in front of the community area. <laughs> oh my god, okay, is this good? Did we dance in front of the community area? Perfect. Okay, let's head back into the town hall, which every time I come in here, I'm just absolutely blown away by how beautiful this place is. So, I've gone over all of the fool's chests and added uh, two pieces of chicken and two pieces of baked potatoes. So, I think they are set and ready to roll. So, let's go and put our books in here because I think that, um, hello there, oh, welcome to Fool's City, there we go. Throw that in there, beautiful. Oh, and we'll take some of this for ourselves. There we go, replenish our own supplies. Okay, perfect, so I think that should be, I think these were both 100 and that was 50, I think? Because one of them was 50, I think both the others were 100. Perfect, okay, nice, very excited about that. We'll fly on back to our city and oh at the end of the episode we will go to the big uh grill i forgot to do that but we should start on our project today so i need to go smelt down some iron i need to smelt down some tin and a few other materials here i've started on getting the nickel but i need invar i think so i need to make some of that for some of the machines we'll be building today also there is our diamond looking super fancy so yeah let me start smelting down some materials so we can start working on these machines is it just me or is Lily just a quarter pixel bigger than before? <laughs> this thing, I swear, it will never grow, but I do think it might be a little bit bigger, but I'm not 100% sure, so yeah, you let me know. Is Lily a little bit bigger? All right, so first machine we need to build today is the Pulverizer, basic from Thermal Foundation. No, this is from Expansion. Uh, this is very confusing. There's Thermal Expansion and Basics and Thermal Surprises. It's crazy. Anyway. So we got a piston, uh, we need some flint and these gears. I think these are made out of copper. Okay, because I got those. Thank you so much in the last episode for the hint on when you, you know, you click one of these and you go through the menus, you can push backspace to go back. Huge, huge thank you for that. This is making life a lot easier. Redstone, gold, you know, the basics. And I think uh, this, I think one of these things needs, oh, tin. Okay, perfect. So I've been over here smelting and you might notice by my, um, my XP that it's down a little bit. I had an accident in the mines, uh, maybe four accidents, but that's okay. Because it turned out nickel was a little bit higher than bedrock and I didn't have any nickel. So thankfully I've got some of that finally now. So I think we have enough resources. Wait, I need the flint. I need the flint. Where did you go, Mr. Flint? There you are. Come on inside. All right, so let's get busy with this. So first thing we need a piston, bam, piston done. There we go, we're already rolling. Let's make up this machine frame. So we've got the glass, so we need to make this thing. Boom, done. Next, oh man, we're flying through this thing here. Actually, I think we need two of those if I'm not mistaken. Bam, grab that thing. And then what is the last thing? I think we need, okay, we've, we got, oh, we can make the machine frame, perfect. Now we just need to make that little rod in the center. Beautiful, grab that and we should be able to make it. There we go, there's our first machine, nice, okay. Okay, so I don't actually know how to make the next one. It's an induction thingy. It's the induction thing. You know, I don't know. Induction smelter, whatever it is. Okay, so we need to make another machine frame. Perfect. So let's roll that thing in here. Grab that. And then we'll shoot on back over and check on this. Boom. Another machine frame done. Beautiful. 
swooping on over and making our gears because we're gonna get gear crazy there we go never played gears of war myself did you guys ever play that game a lot of people love that game rare the company who made gears of war isn't it the same company to make fortnite makes sense because fortnite loves their shotguns okay so i think we should be able to make this okay so we need invar oh the sneaky sneaky invar how do i make that again iskol told me iskol told me he's like don't forget this recipe and i'm like I promise I won't. Um, okay, I think it's iron and nickel, right? I think it is. So let's go, I think it's two and then one. No, you know what? I think it's actually iron dust and iron or nickel dust. Oh, that's I think what it is. Hmm, do I have any of the dust left? Oh, there we go. Please tell me I've got a little iron dust just lingering around here. I mean, I could probably get a little broom and sweep some up if I have to. Uh, okay, well, let's, well, let's make some real quick. So let me do that real quickly. This should be enough for what we need. So we'll swoop on over to the craft in bench. We'll swoop that in and put a little on the bottom. There it is. Okay, there we go. So now we take this and put that on the fire and we should now be good. Wow, a little bit of lag there. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we've got that done. I think that's all we need because we just need two of these plus the bucket, right? Yes, there we go. Great success. So we've got both machines now built up and ready to go. So we've got our Invar all set up. So I made the two machines here. So we got the pulverizer and now we have the induction smelter. The next thing we need to do is how do we power these devices? So coal generator is what we're going to do. So we just need some simple coal, some redstone on the sides and we'll click this and it looks like, oh, what is this? Is this just lapis? Yes, okay, perfect, that's just lapis. So we'll just slide on over into these DMs and we'll slide on back. And then let's see, what else do we need? So, oh, hello, that's not what we want. Let's back it up a little bit here. Okay, so we just need some nuggets. So throw that in there, beautiful. It'll be really nice once we get a proper storage system going. This will make the crafting process for this just a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna make a quick set of sticks. There we go, we're gonna put a little redstone on top. And I think we are all set for our furnace. Let's click this. Hmm, what do we need? Oh, just coal? Do I not have coal on me? What is going on, Scar? Why don't you have what you need? There we go. And then swoop this over there. Bam! Nice! Okay, we got it! Okay, so we've got these two things now. We need a cobblestone generator and drawers. So I'm going to work on the drawers and look up the recipe for the cobblestone generator. I'm quite proud of my silver loyalty badge that I was just awarded. It was a great honor, actually. Major reward. So we'll throw that in there. Beautiful. And let's get busy. So here is the cobblestone generator. Very similar. I guess the exact same thing from Project Ozone. So we'll grab that and we'll make one more of those. Beautiful. And we'll throw our buckets back in the big chest. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we've got that set up. So two cobblestone generators. Now the coal generator... Iskel has some piping in the way he showed me how to do it, but I cannot figure out how to make some of these pipes. And in a test world, I couldn't make them anyway. I couldn't connect them for some reason. So we're just going to put two coal generators next to each other um, on the machines and move things together a little bit, a little bit different. But the whole premise is still the same. But let's make this happen. Um, I know how to use doors. So let's move over here. We just need a, like a blank open spot to set up here. So we'll uh, we'll just build it right here. All right. So this is fairly simple. So we're going to set this guy down. So that thing's going to start generating our coal. Beautiful. I kind of wish the fire side was facing out, but that's okay. Can't always have what you want. And then we're going to put this guy on top and that should start producing right into there. Correct. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I, isn't this correct? That's a cobblestone generator and that is the oak trim. Wait, no, I did not do this right. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix this. I don't know what in the end I actually made here. Fix that issue. Apparently I did not make those things correct. So let's try this one more time. Throw down the cobblestone generator. Storage drawer goes on top. Beautiful, yes, it worked. Okay, great success. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down another one here with a cobblestone generator like so. So still following Iskull's instructions here. And then I'm going to take out this guy, the pulverizer, and it's gonna go right here. And that's going to be accepting out the cobblestone. It's going to be creating, I believe, sand and gravel. We're gonna send the gravel down below because we do not need that. 
and eventually we might have so much we can just void it and then we're going to swoop on over here and we're going to place this right there okay and then we're going to pop this storage door on top and that's where the slag is going to go and it's going to also output stone bricks so we're gonna have stone bricks on this side here I actually would like it to face the other direction but it doesn't matter and I think that's like the basic premise of it. Now what we need to do, of course, is we need to power it. So I'm gonna swoop around the back here. Now I know there's power cables, but I, I, I was having some trouble with them. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this for now. We're just gonna put two of them right next to each other and we're gonna pop on back here and see if this is working. Okay, power is being applied and now we need to configure it. So give me a few seconds on that. This is way more confusing in Ender IO, which I definitely prefer over these machines interfaces. But yeah, there's the reds and the yellows and the blues. This is like a board game or something. So yeah, let me play Sorry over here real quick and I'll be right back. I've been staring at these machines for the better part of a half an hour and I realized that this one did not have the auto input on. So by pushing that, we get the cobblestone over. So that's going to pulverize, I suppose. And that's going to appear here. There should be two outputs. Oh wait, it should send gravel there, but maybe there's like a less likely chance of gravel. So that should put the sand in this one and we should get the slag. Yes, oh, okay, 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 this is good. This is actually a perfect. So I'm surprised I'm not getting the smooth stones over here yet, but that's okay, that's okay. All we need is this and that's what we've got, perfect. All right, let's go over here and check the recipe out for this. So this is kind of an extensive recipe. We need the slag, we need the clay, water and gravel. So we've got gravel, so that's a good thing. The next thing that we need to produce is clay. I forgot that we needed clay. Hmm, do you guys know what kind of thing we could put in there that has an output of clay? So we could do something like this machine that produces clay. So we have an endless supply of clay out of nothing. So we need to think about that. Maybe, man, what could make clay? I have to think about that a little bit, but I'm also kind of happy about the no smooth stone stairs. I didn't really need those, so that's totally okay. And there we go. We've got the, uh, the sand or the gravel coming out of there. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go get some more of the clay. I'm going to get some water and some gravel and we'll start making our block palette for our build. Welcome back. And I need your guys' suggestion on what we should name our diamond. So in the comments, hashtag diamond name. I want to hear from you guys. What should we name the diamond? So I'll pick the best and funniest name in the comments. You could also tweet it to me. So let me know what you guys have for a name for the diamond. Something funny, like something uh, something that pertains to what we do around here, which would be uh, fantastic. So think about that as the episode goes along. Next thing we're going to work on is creating a little bit of reinforced stone. That is right. So reinforced stone is made with cobblestone, not smooth stone, which you'd think it would be smooth stone, right? That's what I was working towards. And then I realized, wait, that's cobblestone. <laughs> so that is one thing. The next thing is something very dear to my heart. And that is, of course, reinforced dirt. So we're going to make some of that. Now, of course, this is the same recipe once again, dirt and wood. So pretty amazing. So let's grab a little bit of that, grab some of that and let's get busy. So first thing we're going to make a little bit of reinforced dirt. So we'll go over down here, a boom and a bam. Nice. And then we'll swoop on over here and get that. So this is the start of our block palette for this season. So there's a lot more blocks to go, but this is a good start. Is that a, a reinforced boat? I like that. Look at that land boat up there. That'd make a Vex proud. So I'm going to grab this. Beautiful. So here are our first blocks. Oh, this makes me so happy. So we're going to put this one down and put that one down. Look at how beautiful those are. I especially like the reinforced dirt. I just wish there was a smooth stone component to it instead of having all the lines right here. So if there was just a smooth variant like this, boy, that'd be a beautiful block. Okay, so next thing, let's turn our attention to the slag. So we'll grab out a couple of these guys and uh, let me take a look at this because I don't actually remember the recipe for this. <laughs> <laughs> let's actually search for it um let's see what is it so it's not so it's concrete correct so let's search that out and let's see if we can find that down here it should be down here at the bottom there we are okay so slag clay and water and gravel okay i think we've got all those things that we need here so we'll grab a little of this and a little bit of that and let's grab a stack of you and a stack of you 
and let's make a little magic happen together. Right? Can we do this? Nice. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh, that's only 12. But I think we can make more because we have more water. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge. So things we need to do, make the Ender IO Reservoir. So that's an unlimited amount of water. And some little things I think we can figure out. There is a recipe for clay. And here it is. It's dirt, water, and slag. So that'll create more clay. So I think that's going to be our key for creating more of the clay to create this particular block. Beautiful. Let's grab this. And then we'll put this one next to that. Bam! Look at this. Oh, this is coming out really well. So those are the three um, blocks. Now there's still more. We need to make the treated wood. So that is our next challenge. So we need to increase the oil. Um, hmm. This is going to be a challenge because immersive engineering has the crucible, which we can create it from that. Also, immersive engineering has the coke oven. So I'm going to make both of them. See which one's more efficient. Look at this beautiful fool in his gold armor and his loyalty badge, by the way. Anyway, guys, so I've got pretty much everything we need to create two things. We can make a coke oven from immersive engineering, and that's one way of making the oil that we need. Another way is the magma crucible. So we have all the materials necessary to do that. I'm going to make both of them and see which one is more efficient. Another point is that I've been working on my nutrition the entire day. I have died four or five times, so that always resets it back. But I've been avoiding any of my pineapple pizza because I don't want to have that mining fatigue again because I think that did come from not uh, maintaining nutrition levels. So yeah, working on that. I, I still love my pineapple pizza, so that's a bit of a bummer. I still might eat it and just, just roll with it. <laughs> so yeah, we need to make a Coke oven. We need to make the magma crucible. Now the Coke oven's a little bit tricky. Hold on, let me let me jump over here real quick. Um, not so much tricky, but uh, there's a book that makes it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, another thing we're gonna need a lot of, it looks like, is going to be once again clay and now sandstone. So these are different things that we need to make to, I guess, increase our like machines. Like we got this machine for the slag, so we might need some other ones for clay and uh, some different items like that. So please in the comments, like let me know suggestions for those ones. I believe this is the recipe. There is a corresponding book, like I said, for this book or for this mod, that would be super handy. Oh, that's right, because I tested this in a creative world yesterday and I forgot the recipe. I need a hammer. OK, so I just need to hit this with a hammer and magic's going to happen. You don't believe me? I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you that that actually works. Don't think I'm crazy over there. And then, of course, I need to make the magma crucible thing. So let me make that hammer and then we'll have some magic happening. You still don't believe me that I just need to hit that with a hammer. It's true. It's true. You got to believe me. I do know modded stuff now. Kind of. I got it. The hammer is obtained. Let's do it. Bam. There we go. Wow. We just like busted it open. <laughs> so from here, what we're going to be able to do is put coal and this should create the matter that we need. Or what is it? Cree seed oil, I believe. So I'm just going to grab some of this and I'm going to throw that. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to throw this in there. OK, perfect. Oh, it's working. Nice. And then this is our other option. This is the Magma Crucible Basic. And I put a little Magma Diamond though on the back. And this thing is rocking. Like, look at this. Look at all the power in there. I mean, we could use this potentially over some of these uh, furnaces, which use a lot of coal. Like, these things are some serious coal eaters. So maybe we could use some of this lava. I mean, we have tons of lava. That's that's easy. We could even make uh, lava, like, like generators, I believe. So yeah, that'll be pretty sweet. So let's move over here. And OK, so that's not full yet. But I think when this is either empty, then it creates what we need. So for this particular one, we need to go and get tar sand, I believe, or no oil sand and then create tar. It's a it's a process. It's a process. Believe me, we're, we're still working through this. But yeah, everything uh, is slowly working on getting the materials that we need. It's a lot of stuff to make the blocks, but it'll be definitely worth it once we get to the building phase by getting all the infrastructure set and eventually we'll move this into our future base. And I mean, look at this. This is going to get so beautiful once we incorporate the woods into it. Found some. Perfect. OK, oil sand. Oh, um, hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need to actually take the sand with me. I probably need silk touch and I don't have that. See, all this creates is just the um, the stuff. Maybe I could like capture the water in a bucket. Do I have? A oh, I have a bucket. I have a bucket. OK, 
Um, I'm going to do this really quick. This is like super professional Minecraft action. Watch this. Bam. Scoop it. No, no scoops. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I could take these little particles, but I'm pretty sure I need the whole sand block. As we thought, it is creating oil, unfortunately. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. Do I need silk touch or what do I need to harvest that particular block? But I don't know if we'll need it because this thing is producing quite a bit of the greasy oil that we need. So we're up to a thousand. So we would let this just continue to go, maybe even build like three more of these things. I think that'll be pretty awesome. I believe there is a more advanced version also. And I think all we do is just put a bucket up here and bam, we already got a whole bucket full of that. So that is really cool. So let's make the wood and see what it looks like. So the recipe is very simple. It's just wrap some wood around the oils and there you go. You've got yourself treated wood and that is the block palette. So the wood, the concrete, the reinforced stone and dirt and that is the start of our base palette for the base. And it is looking amazing. So along with this, we're gonna have maybe some brass and you know a few other little colors here or there. I'd like to introduce more of a highlight to it and a slightly darker block to kind of, you know, really have a nice polished uh, design here. But I'm, I think it's looking really, really good. Oh, five minutes till we reset. Well, it's a good thing that we are wrapping up my friends and i hope you enjoyed today as we scoured the entire world for the resources we needed to create our base and built all these machines a big thank you to iskol for the help with the slag build there and uh yeah i hope you liked the design that we have planned we're gonna visit ren's shop in our next episode and until next time this has been good times with scar and if you believe videos are rating, that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.